I'm going to solve question number 23 of 078 Physics 1, June 2020 session, Cameroon GC. The question says, the value of capital X for which the galvanometer in figure 4 shows a null deflection is, this is capital X representing the resistance of this component. So we are going to solve for it to find out if capital X is A, 1 ohm, B, 4 ohms, C, 8 ohms, and D, 4.5 ohms. Okay, let's have the solution of this problem. This type of circuit is called the Wheatstone Bridge circuit. And if the galvanometer shows a null deflection, then these two points are at the same potential. This point and this point, they are at the same potential. If these two points are at the same potential, then the potential of X will be equal to the potential of 4 ohms and the potential and the potential of the 6 ohms resistor will be equal to the potential of the 3 ohms resistor. Now we can take ratios, take ratio of this potential to this one. So we have V of X over V of 6 ohms to be equal to V of 4 ohms divided by V of 3 ohms. Now we know from Ohm's law that V is equal to I R. That is what we know where I is a current and R is the resistance. Now the current passing through this one we can call it I1 and the current passing through this we can call it I2 because at this point we are at a junction, the junction rule the Kehoff's law or current at the junction. If we have the current capital I passing through this circuit, then the current passing through this 4 ohm resistor, we call it uh, capital I1, and the current passing through this uh, X ohms resistor, we call it capital I2. And you'll notice that uh, the resistor with resistance capital X and this resistor with resistance 6 ohms, they are in series since they are carrying this same current I2. And the resistor with resistance 4 ohms and the resistor with resistance 3 ohms, they are carrying the same current capital I1. Now we can uh, translate v into i are in each case and see what we are going to have so in the first case we are going to have i i2 x divided by here we are going to have i2 of 6 ohms and this is equal to here we are going to have I1 of 4 ohms divided by I1 of 3 ohms. Now we can simplify this since this I can cancel with this in which case we are going to have X over 6 equal to 4 over 3. You can solve for x. So our x, our x is equal to 
4 over 3 times 6. So this will give us, if you simplify this, you are going to have 8 ohms. So that is our answer and it corresponds to C. So C is our correct choice. C is our correct choice. Dear viewers, we are going to end here for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your keen attention. Do not forget to like this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you always receive updates of new videos that I put up in my channel. Bye-bye.